close game between the Spartans and Eagles comes down to 10-point victory for Norfolk State, 80-70. to Ross Gordon joined by Malcolm Hawkins, the junior guard from right out of Norfolk, Virginia, here on NSUSpartans.com in a game in which we played well to start the second half, built up an 18-point lead, and then, as it seems like it has happened over the last couple of weeks, uh, when we have a lead of, of double digits, we sometimes struggle to keep it up in, in the high double digits. Talk a little bit about tonight's game because we played well to start the second half, and then it just sort of things just happened. Turnovers here, turnovers there, uh, bad shot here. Just really took us out of our rhythm. Um, tonight, uh, first tonight was a good win for us. Uh, continued the streak. But uh, tonight I feel like we played together moments in the, in the first and the second half. Um, I feel like we did a, a, a better job at rebounding this game, even though we can do better. But um, overall, I think we I think we play a solid game. Uh, we have to clean it up at the end. You know, we start to uh, not run, execute on offense. I think we need to do a better job at that. But it was a good win for the Spartans. You talk about a game where we score 80 points, out rebound. Coppin State 48 to 25, but we turned the ball over 24 times. It's never a good number. And you know, Coach Evans is going to talk about that moving into Monday night's game against Morgan. Uh, yeah, definitely. We definitely have to uh, protect the ball more. 24 turnovers is unacceptable. And uh, Coach got on us in the locker room about that. And uh, 24 turnovers against Morgan State can be a different story. So we just got to protect the ball going into the next game. 13 of 17 from the free throw line. You were perfect 5 of 5, 17 points to go along on 5 of 10 shooting. Uh, you had a steal and you had two assists. It was a good night for you shooting the basketball. Talk a little about some of the things you saw out there. Um, I just uh, try to get into rhythm. You know, if I get into rhythm, uh, any shot uh, can go in for me. And, uh, and my teammates do a good job, you know, getting me open, screening, and, and just swinging the ball. And uh, also, I attacked the rack. That's how I got, you know, free throws. We scored 80 points, give up 70, and it was a good second half for us because we started to move the ball a little bit better in the second half, got some easy shots. Rasheed was in double figures. Uh, Penny led everyone with 23, nine points for Rob Johnson. We made some big shots when, when Coppin State started to come back. Oh, uh, yeah, Penny was on fire today. Uh, he, played, he played very well. Uh, Rasheed played well, too. Um, but, you know, uh, again, uh, defense is going to uh, win this our championship. We just got to tighten up on defense going into the next game. Our offensive player of the game is Malcolm Hawkins. Ended up with 17 points. 5 of 5 from the free throw line. 2 of 4 from downtown. 5 of 10 from the floor. Our defensive of Optima defensive player of the game goes to Pendarvis Williams. 23 points to go along with 12 boards. He had his first double-double this year to go along with three assists and one block. So congratulations to him. The Spartans victorious 80 to 70 for Malcolm Hawkins. I'm Ross Gordon. The next game for the Spartans will be on Monday night as they travel over to Morgan State to take on the Bears. You're watching NSUSpartans.com.